All right, so here are the wheels. Um, just picked them up in the powder corner shop. They came out amazing. We did them in gloss black. They look brand new. And then the center caps got delivered, but they are the wrong color. These are supposed to be yellow. These are freaking like orange or red. So I gotta contact eBay for that, but we're gonna unload them and uh, start wiring the other PCM connector. so that is the last wire this is about three days of work here there was over a hundred pins that i had to redo so i'm re uh shrinking this one real quick these are cool because they have solder in them i think i mentioned that in the last video Let's see if you see that it's not focusing but the solder melts as the shrink does and gives it that nice secure connection okay so this is 28 i'm gonna rip off the number and before I loom all this up, we're gonna get this one hand. I'm gonna connect the PCM, which is over here. Like I said in the last video, that ground is gonna go to this point over here. And then this connector will go to this over here, where's it go? Right there. All right, so let me uh, just set everything up real quick, plug in the PCM, and then we'll go start it up and make sure we got no codes, because there's a lot of wiring. I'm pretty sure I did everything right, but it doesn't hurt to check. All right, so I ended up uh, wrapping up the harness and everything is plugged back in, just temporary. So the PCM is mounted back here, um, like how it's supposed to be. And then this bracket will attach to the cowl brace which is over here. I haven't installed it yet because I still got to notch it out um, because the supercharger lid is hitting the top of it. So like I said, everything here is temporary. I just want to make sure it starts up again. After doing all this wiring, this is like three days of work. I got the power mounted. I do have to extend this back here just so it can sit right on top of this, uh, this fuse panel, the one that goes to the power steering rack and the cooling fan. And then I got to redo this bracket so this fuse box can clip in right on there um but everything looks good so far so we're gonna scan it i got the battery on charge we're gonna scan it for code just to make sure there's no codes after the rewiring that we just did oh look at that just got done scanning so we'll x that out we'll go clear codes continue let it clear all the codes and uh, we'll start it uh, shut it back off and scan it again and it shouldn't have any new codes just the old ones that were already there it's gonna take a minute transfer case just clicked okay should be almost done 
a lot of these modules I'm gonna disable, like the uh, the suspension one for the adaptive suspension. We're turning that off. I'm shutting off the adaptive cruise control. Like all that stuff is gonna be unnecessary, and um, so we're gonna shut those codes off, and we're not gonna have any warning lights on the dash because right now, see how it says that the ACC, which is the adaptive cruise. I'm gonna shut that off. The there the dampening system we're gonna shut that off okay so that's good all right now before i scan it again i'm gonna start it real quick and if i did anything wrong it should throw off a h-track engine light i can't keep it running for long because it has no no cats it's gonna reek up the shaft so we'll shut off the ignition Another code scan and see what comes up. All right, so that first code is because I unlocked the PCM. Shoot. Let's go back. All right, the first code I'm not worried about, that's because I unlocked the PCM for tuning. Ambient temperature sensor is not plugged in. That's that code. That's for the air box. No two sensors are not plugged in. So all these codes are normal. The cruise control module is the uh, adaptive cruise control. And that, like I said, we're going to shut that off. I'm not worried about these rests, but the PCM looks like it's, uh, it's right where it should be. All right, so now that we're done with the PCM wiring, I have to work on the ABS controller. So I'm gonna take, this is off a charger, but I have to repin it anyways. And I'm gonna extend it from here all the way to over there because that's where the ABS module is gonna be relocated. So I gotta unwrap all this. I gotta cut out these clips right there. This is gonna be a whole nother job, but there's not as much wires that the uh, PCM had. There's probably, with that focus, probably like 25, maybe 30 wires. So I'll get that done, and then this is the, the pump and the module off the Jeep. So that is gonna press in right over there, and then I'm missing one of the bushings, I have to get it. And all three prongs will hold up right over here, and then these go to the back. They're bent, but I can still make it work. And then we have these that are off a charger. And that is gonna, oops. That is gonna connect to these two and then go to the brake reservoir. But we're gonna do that now because the motor is gonna have to get dropped one more time just so we can make some final adjustments. And then when everything's back up in here, I gotta tape all this up. This is gonna be one harness. Um, and then we'll go back from there and then make everything 100%. Now, as far as for the interior, it's um, basically done. What I'm working on right now is these actuators for the HVAC. On the Chargers of 300s, the HVAC harness is part of the dash, right? On the Jeeps, the HVAC comes off with the dash, so the harness is part of the dash. And I don't want to have it that way on this car. I want to make it where if I'm pulling off the dash, the HVAC will stay in the car. Because imagine having to take off the HVAC with the skeleton and then with the dash. That's going to be so much work. And then the HVAC is bolted on from behind the firewall. So it's going to be a complete mess. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm extending the wires. So this is one of the blend doors. I don't know if you can see that. I made a connector for it and I'm connecting it where I can unplug it from underneath the dash and then pull off the dash separately if I ever wanted to, you know, do service to it or whatever. And I'd have to uh, take off the HVAC. So that's staying in there. That's what I'm working on with right now on the inside. But the radio, this is the Jeep radio. Let me show you guys that. I made the radio for the Jeep working there. So I still got to tighten it down. It's not bolted down from the behind, but it does work. And you got all your pages on there and everything. So if you go apps, dashboard, that is a Trackhawk screen, man. You go drive modes. So let me shut this off. 
after thinking about it and seeing you guys in comments i am gonna end up putting the the control modes right in here i'm gonna make a bracket for it so it can sit onto these hinges and then this will sit right in there um, because i don't want to get rid of the cup holders i was either going to do that or i was going to bolt it down to the front where the ashtray is but i think keeping it in here will be pretty clean i just got to make a make a bracket so it's not going to fall down and then the plug i'll make a, a a hole right over there and i gotta extend it because it's towards the front and i'll plug in it right here and it'll be nice and oem this is all done so let me show you this all that works i got the blower to work i have to uh still figure out the the temperature one which is this one over here so it works on the button but the actuator isn't plugged in, so I gotta make sure the actuator is reading according to that. All right, so here is the wheel setup. Like I said, we got them done in uh, gloss black. We had them powder coated to match the, the fronts because these rear are different offset, they're aftermarket. I got the calipers installed. We also had those powder coated in yellow so they could do like the Trackhawk theme. And then for the rear, I didn't record this, but I don't know if I still have it here. Um, I ended up changing the tone rings on both sides because when I was pulling the axles off so I could pull off the knuckle, I damaged them. I had it here somewhere. But the tone rings are brand new. We have different um, lug nuts on these. Or not lug nuts, studs. Lug studs because I had to make them longer so I can make this wheel stick out more. Because before, putting a spacer on this, well, I can show you this. This is just temporary though. I'm gonna grab a light. So, I don't know if you see this, right over there. That is um, a washer with a, a nut, just so I could test the clearance. So this is sticking out too much. So I'm gonna take off some washers, I'm gonna make it tuck in more, and then I'll make a custom spacer to, to fit that. But before I couldn't do that because I didn't have enough threads on the lugs, on the studs, and um, that was the issue. So I took off the hubs, I had um, repressed with longer, with longer, um, with longer studs from Jags, and then now everything is good. And as you can see, also got the gloss black with the the yellow lettering for the center caps. Now for the front, this is going to be another issue. See how the camber is tilted in. the The clearance on top is fine, but from the bottom, it's sticking out. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to loosen up the lower control arm bolts, which are right there, and then tuck in this wheel and see how far it can go in. And then the top has to go out because it's tucked in too much. And I want it to be almost as close as the rears. So we'll do that once the car's on the hoist. Um, but for now, I just wanna test the wheels out and they'll look pretty nice. So the point is to have this car look like a track hawk from like the suspension and stuff, which is, uh, the look that we're going for. I didn't install the front uh, Brembo's because I'm gonna take off these wheels again and I don't want those Brembo's to get scratched up, but the Brembo's are in that box back there. Okay, so I unwrapped both harnesses. So there's the one off the charger. And honestly, looking at it, a lot of the colors are the same. Like this power one is red and silver. And on this one, on the Jeep, same thing red and silver but i looked at the diagram and the diagram shows that the pins are located in different areas so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just use this wire so i'm gonna cut this off and then i'm gonna extend it so it can reach all the way up here it's probably gonna take me the rest of the day so once i'm done i'll show you guys how that looks and we should be done with the abs wiring and then this connector will sit on the rebar and the rest of it will kind of feed through and i'll show you guys how that looks this over here is for the supercharger pump oh no this is for the fan the supercharger pump is I didn't see that where to go. Is it on the floor? Right over here. This is for the pump, and I gotta do the same thing. I gotta extend these uh four wires because on the chargers and challengers the auxiliary pump is on this side. On the Jeeps is on this side. So a lot of stuff going back and forth, but once this is done, this is gonna be the last part of the wiring other than the HVAC stuff. And um, we should be good to put it back on the hoist, drop the motor, 
we got to push the engine back uh, a couple inches because this is hitting against the rebar or the core support so i have to make enough clearance for that and uh we're gonna do the i don't know if you can see it here but the steering shaft has to get done a few things you have to get done and um this thing should be on its first test drive soon all right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Before we end it, I wanna give you guys an update on the wheels that are available. This is gonna be the last set. All the other ones sold. The two other wide bodies and the slim body are gone. I have this set left, which are the gray ones. These are the uh, 20 by 10s wide body. And I also have a set of Trackhawk wheels, which I'll post a picture here in a second. They're going for 2,500 a set. And for this time only, I'm doing free shipping. Uh, anywhere in the US. So if you order these, shipping alone has cost me a couple hundred bucks. So you're getting free shipping. Um, just text that same number. I'm going to put it up here again and they'll take care of you. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you back on the next one.